Hey, what's up, guys? Here, I'm bringing you, I guess technically it's game four between Malevolence and Nighthawk, because they played game three on ESV Quarrel Compound, and they played game one on that same map, and I told them they couldn't do that, so they had to replay their last game, so here they are on GSL Metropolis, and that's why Nighthawk says good luck for the last time, because uh, they've got to replay their uh, final game. Here on the top, the red shirt is Malevolence, and the blue Terran, Nighthawk here on the bottom. Right now I have to beat you all over again. <laughs> um, that's not very nice, Malevolence. Gotta give him at least uh, some credit. He did beat you game too. So, uh, alright, I guess we'll have to watch and see what happens here. I know they're tied, technically, and we're gonna discount game three. So, they are both fighting to stay in the winner's bracket. Whoever loses it, oh, what the hell are you doing, boy? Did she do that last game as well? Like, uh, Pulling all your drones, go somewhere. Oh, it must be because of your not drag selecting dealy. I don't know, whatever. You must have actually double click drone. I suppose that makes sense. It's Overlord. Just standard. Standard stuff. I'm gonna come over here and scout over here, but uh, not gonna find anything. And I don't know why he's scouting there because, well, with GSL Metropolis, it's pretty much. Um, you pretty much have to spawn on the opposite side of the map. I mean, this is his first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Nobody's going to spawn in your fifth base. Unless you're getting an expansion there. Maybe is that what he's doing? Possibly. I'm thinking that might be what he's up to. Well, it's not a scout. He's actually going to take that. There he is. Alright, I suppose uh, fifth expansion beats the natural on this map. I don't really know what he's, uh, okay, whatever, it's semi-hidden, I suppose. But, uh, we got the wall finished here. It's really safe for any kinds of all-ins, even though there are none, but he doesn't know that because it's scouted yet. So his wall's finished. God, that's something, uh, I don't really understand his thinking behind. Is this early engineering bay? I mean, I suppose you can get your upgrades earlier, but it's much more efficient just to drop a tech lab, you know, get some uh, snip pack, combat shields, whatever, tack on some more barracks. I mean, shit, even get a barracks factory and then go for an expansion. There goes that orbital command, FYI. But, uh, yeah, the engineering bay that early just isn't that effective, especially when you've got no gas. You can't do anything with it, you know? He's got, you know, 100. Let's make another barracks there. Which is probably smart as can I suppose we can try a different mouse. Alright. So I suppose they pause the game. And uh ready? Okay. Alright, they're good. Okay. A little bit of a mishap there, but too bad. Too bad from a level once he's gonna switch mouses. Hopefully that might switch um, or fix, I suppose, his old drag selecting deal or whatever he was complaining about but anyway being greedy as hell as always got his third right here and well actually his thirds in his natural his thirds at his natural and his his natural is at his fifth that doesn't make any sense at all what the fuck did I just say oh whatever I'm just gonna stop trying to understand this <laughs> But anyway, the roach horn is about to finish. So, you might see some roaches. Which are a little, little bit different from his last games because, uh, what? What did he have? Wings and hydras? Wings and hydras for those past couple games? So, maybe try some roaches. But if he does go for roaches, that might not be the greatest idea because I've seen how Malevolence enjoys to employ marauders. And if you've got a good amount of those. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I think game one he actually used a lot of roaches. It was game two I was thinking about where it's mostly hydralisks and lings. Sorry about my foggy memory there, but yeah, I guess uh, he's not really switching it up. Um, if it's anything like the first game where he just uh, goes for a lot of roaches earlier on, he might be able to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, make this a, a replay of that game. But with marauders, roaches are just going to be so much harder for you to deal with, and I like this. I like this. I really do. It's actually a, a decently early expansion coming from Nighthawk. You just gotta float that over to his natural, and he'll be good to go. And at least be up to, 
uh, semi-par with his friend. Malevolence over here, who doesn't have anything going on at this natural expansion, actually. Got a couple of drones over there. I'm pretty sure that Nighthawk should... Well, that mule there, he might be... No, nah, it's actually not even close. Figure Nighthawk with that mule might have been beating him on the income tab, but there he goes. He's floating his command center up. It's going to go land it in his natural. And if he gets a decent amount of um, saturation over there, as well as making an orbital, getting another mule source, he should easily take the advantage and in income over his opponent. Because um, right now his opponent doesn't have his uh, expansions too saturated. And that's been something that I've commented on the past couple day games, if you guys have watched them. Um, yeah, he's he gets his early expansions, but it takes him quite a while to get them up and running, you know, to their full potential. He preferred to make units. And we can see the flow of Zerg units across the map down here with no bunkers. This could hurt. I'm not going to lie. This, this could be devastating. Um... No Hellions, just Marines at this point. But if you can get some decent positioning, like uh, just pull up to the top of the ramp and float this up since it's got no going on there, that might be his best choice. But it doesn't look very good at all. His Marauders are easily going to get mopped up by these Roaches. All the links are dead, but the Roaches are just so beefy these links aren't going to be able to, excuse me, Marines aren't going to be able to do anything to them. Just completely bypassing the natural, not lifting up his walls. The roaches are just flowing right in. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty at all. And the roaches just start clipping away at these SCVs. Try and engage the roaches, but it might not be the best idea, but it is keeping them at bay while the marines can shoot at them. But in the meantime, he's losing every single worker he's got. And this is just putting him at such a disadvantage. Last roach does fall. The roaches are cleaned up, but we've got even more on the way over there. If you just land that and continue making SCVs, he might be able to catch up. He just might be able to catch up with his opponent because we can see that he, you know, he tends not to make so many drones earlier on. He does have a chance if he could bunker up, but with this push coming, it doesn't look likely. He needs to research seeds. That could help him out a lot, especially getting that. Uh, Seat tank up on the high ground, just gonna melt away at roaches. With no marauders, the roaches are gonna be hard to take down. The lings are all dead once again. Or not, two left. And one wing survives, and there are still no marines left. All those roaches are just gonna start plowing right through these tanks. It is not looking good at all for Nighthawk. Just started to get some more SCVs produced, and those are all just going to be going to waste. The mules just dying right then and there. Really nothing Nighthawk can do. He has no workers left. And scratch that. He's got one SCV left. Where is that guy? There he is, right there with the supply depots. One SCV, 60 minerals. There's really nothing he can do. Does not look good at all. I'm waiting for a GG. And there it is from Nighthawk. There is a GG. This means that Malevolence has successfully knocked Nighthawk out. Uh, now away. Not quite sure I understand what he's trying to say there, but anyway, Malevolence has taken the series two to one. Not two to zero. I think I said that. It's two to one. 2-1, and Nighthawk is going to the loser bracket. And Nighthawk has left the game, but Malevolence has not. I think he's just going to sit here and kill every single building until he's... What is the point of this? Question mark. Hmm. Anyway, this game is obviously over. Nighthawk left. So... He gave his GG. Level 1 says 1. And. Jeez. Man, why hasn't he left it? It's just so strange. But. Anyway. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not going to sit here and watch this. So, I'm just going to end the replay right here. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more games from the Hive Mind Summer Kick.